Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm Steve. And today I want to talk to you about the meme stock, Bed Bath & Beyond, ticker symbol BBBY. Now, today in this video, I'm going to talk about what is a meme stock and why uh, Bed Bath & Beyond is not a good investment for a beginning investor or someone that wants to go long term looking for value. I want to also talk about a little bit of why I say that and get to a little bit of numbers and particulars of why I support what I say and why you should do your own due diligence if you're in the future if you want to look at buying in the bed bath and beyond all right now what is a meme stock a meme stock is a stock that's built up through hype on different social media platforms through discussion uh, platforms like reddit uh, I think they have a, uh, a group on there called the Wall Street bets you probably heard that term uh, Twitter and Facebook primarily those three Instagram too it might be on Instagram I don't know but um what they do is these communities they come together they'll talk about a stock build it up and then everybody just go in from the hype build it up blow the stock up artificially elevate the price of the stock you know it might be a few days might be a few weeks just blow it up and once they get it high enough they'll get the gains and drop it it'll fall like a hot rock and a term I use you know as far as the stock that I wouldn't touch or anything is a burning house and Bed Bath & Beyond is a burning house it's a towering inferno of burning houses as of last year fiscal first quarter ended it in 2022 right well yeah this year 2022 at a hundred where's it at a hundred and eight million dollars in cash the whole company 108 million dollars in cash you compare that to one year before you know first quarter 2021 they had 440 million dollars in cash this company's losing money they've just uh in February closed what 37 stores 37 stores that weren't profitable along the United States right that's a lot of stores now the CEO the new CEO they have because the old one quit right the new CEO they had is trying to get the company in order now you know it's gonna you know when you have a new CEO and he's trying to right or wrong from past you know transgression for the company you're gonna have fluctuations but when you have groups coming in and blowing the stock up, hyping the stock up and building it up and then dropping it, a lot of people lose millions. Like you can look online right now, even the past few days, people have lost millions of dollars. Now, some people have gained millions of dollars, but a lot of people have lost millions of dollars. As a beginning investor, anything dealing with hype, anything dealing with fear of missing out, you should never invest in it. You should never touch it or even look at it. You know, um, it has a $5 buy rating, meaning the stock analysts say the stock with all the fundamentals and everything is worth $5 as it's fair market value. So if you bought the stock for $5, regardless if it goes up or down, you know, that's the, that, that point of buying in is safe for you, right? And the stock right now had a 52 week range of $30 right and it has it, it that's the high now the low is four dollars and 38 cent now look at you got to look at it like this the last five days the stock started at $14 on Monday right shot all the way up midday Tuesday to $26 then you had a small dip at the end of Tuesday right and market close Wednesday is spiked again twenty six dollars thirty two cent when these have these spikes a lot of times they shut down the trading platform they, they shut it shuts down the trading platform because so many orders are coming in to boost the stock real high right now whether it's right or wrong it doesn't matter but um you know it, it's just crazy and then Thursday it drops now we come with going downhill 
from $24. Thursday, $16, right? From Friday, $10. And now, now today, Saturday morning, we sit at $11.03, right? Yesterday dropped 40%. As an investor, this will make you pull your hair out. And if you're trying to look for value, like I, I had a video, and I'll, I'll link it in the description down below, about value traps and stuff like that. I don't want to say this really falls into it because if you do the pay, if you look at the, all of the uh, necessary, uh, if you do all your research and you see that this company is in financial trouble, which they are, you would know that this is not a good investment. But a lot of us as investors, you know, especially new investors or, you know, you know, people that just don't do research, they'll jump on this because they'll see the climb, man, 40% in one day. Oh, they must have some inside knowledge that nobody else knows about. I got to jump on this and say like you jumped in. And a lot of people jumped in, right? Wednesday at around the close, close to the close, a lot of people jumped in when it's $27. I mean, when it was $25.41. Now, today, and they didn't sell. And now today, the hype then went down and it's sitting at $11. So imagine having $10,000 into the stock, right? And it then drops, let's see, 40%. Now you're down to $6,000. Now you got to hope that it goes back up. What if it doesn't? Where are you going to be? Now you got to sit, now you're stuck holding it. You know, stocks like these, unless you are a day trader, or you're very good with call options and puts, then this stock is, is, is feasible to even look at. Because the fluctuation of this and putting your money into this and not really understanding the stock market and how it works or just thinking that you're going to make a quick buck, depending on when you jumped in or jumped out, you know, it could be very stressful to you and it can ruin your experience as a first-time investor, right? Now, like I said, the last CEO had quit. They got a new CEO, and he's trying to right the wrongs of, you know, past things. Because in the past few years, the company's been going downhill, right? They closed uh, 37 stores since February of this year. 37 stores. They're in debt, and they're trying to turn around. They have loans that, you know, what I'm reading now is a lot of people are, thinking they, they can't even pay these loans back. Now, Bed Bath & Beyond, you know, everybody knows, you know, they sell a lot of products like, you know, soaps and, you know, stuff that smells good and things, you know, for your house. And they got good products. But uh, reading the interview, the in a, uh, one of the, uh, ugh, I got tongue tied today, it's Saturday. Reading one of the, uh, um, what is the problem with me today? <laughs> one of the um, articles, and it was saying that they were having problems with the inventory. Some of the inventory is old, and they're arguing about, you know, whether they want to, you know, they got to get new inventory. They got to change the whole structure of how they're doing things. Because, I mean, they do got some good products. They smell good, and you know, but they're a little pricey. And around Christmas time, usually... Uh, I would assume they do good. I don't. I'm not really into the company like that. But I assume they do good because everybody gives Bed Bath and Beyond as a Secret Santa and a Pollyanna gift. So I mean, they making money. But um, yeah, man, this is just one of those things that you stay away from. You don't mess with it. Uh, I'm just look. I'm looking at it right here on my uh, Yahoo Finance. Just just looking at it. Just a brief. Their earning per share is negative. Five dollars and sixty-four cents. They're not even profitable, and it's like it has a five-dollar buy rating. People lost a million millions of dollars in it, and I'd avoid it. But I mean, if you want to look for a good, uh, you know, good. If you want, if you want to look for, if you want to get into the retail space, right? And you're uh, interested in. I'll bring it up right now. I'm sorry about that. And you're interested in uh, the retail space, I would do an ETF. 
you know, something like the Spider S&P Retail ETF, ticket symbol XRT. You know, you don't have to worry about the uh, losing money with it because it's a basket of stocks. And some of the holdings are included in it. You know, it's retail. So a lot of the holdings, I'm trying to get it to come up. You know, you got CarMax, Singit, Jewelers, the top 10 holdings, Etsy, Revolve, DoorDash, you know, among other things, but it's a retail ETF, you know, meaning that, you know, it puts you in a retail space, but you don't have to focus on one stock where you it'll mess you up, you know, in case you get a spike or anything like that. And you can avoid a lot of things like this because an ETF, you know, being that it's all stocks and they're spread out amongst, you know, different uh, sectors, you got a better chance of getting gains, you know, but you got to be safe. Now, I don't, I'm not a uh, financial advisor. I'm just giving my opinion. I'm talking about it. And, um, you know, that's just basically what I had to say today. Avoid stocks like that. You know, uh, the first meme stock, if I didn't mention it before, was AMC, the movie theater. You know, and with not, with, with streaming now and all that and the way it's advancing, I don't know if movie theaters will be around in 10 years. You know, because movie theaters are more of an experience. Yeah, they have movies and like they show them, you know, the movie will come out. You can buy the movie online, you know, the same day it comes out. A lot of times, depending on what the movie is, you might have to wait a week. And people will wait a week because the experience of going to the movie theater, you know, it, it, you're paying for that. That's why the prices are so high because the stock, the stock is low. And to stay competitive, they have to raise the concession prices and things like that. So it's getting a little bit, bit pricey. But I'm, I'm straying off the path a little bit. But yeah, you know, just meme stocks, guys, you got to be careful. You know, and um, that's basically it. You know, but um, if you want, I mean, I'd appreciate it. Um, leave me a comment. Tell me if y'all got caught up in this uh, Bed Bath & Beyond thing. If you made money from it. I mean, if you did, congratulations. But um, it's not a good investment, in my opinion, and I wouldn't touch it. So, you know, guys, like I tell you, man, be careful. Invest in what you know. Um, invest wisely. And, you know, feel good about what you pick because you did your due diligence when you picked it. But um, that's it, guys. As always, man, leave a comment. Like I said, like and subscribe. I appreciate you spending the time with me. I don't know what was going on with me today, man. I'm like all over the place. I'm tongue-tied and everything. But uh, I appreciate you. You guys have a good rest of the weekend. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care.